Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we're gonna rank some ESTJs. You might tell I'm a little high energy today. Partially I've had coffee with no food, so maybe there's that. Also, it is my birthday as of filming, not when you're watching this, sorry, it's already passed, but it is my birthday right now and so I'm in a good mood. I'm in the mood to record and you know, I'm recording multiple videos right now because I like this outfit and I feel good about myself today and I'm having a good time, I'm having good energy energy so don't judge me for wearing the same clothes and having my hair the same for all these videos that I'm about to post because I really don't care that's what I want to do so there's that <coughs> maybe I shouldn't breathe while I drink coffee I, I don't know today we're gonna rank some ESTJs from fiction that you guys have listed to me I don't think I added I think I only added one character that you guys didn't list, the rest of the ones are ones that you did list. I actually this time made sure that I picked only characters that I have seen and know and or read and that way we can have, I can have an actual opinion because I don't want to just say oh like I haven't seen it. I purposely didn't pick characters that I haven't seen so that we can have this conversation and I can truly rank them. So the ranking options that I have are the same as most other times. We've got God tier, we've got dynamic, we've got meh, and we've got cliche, but this time we have please stop, and you'll see why I put this category in here as we get going. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rank some of the STJs. First and foremost, we have Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Now, I used to be a self-proclaimed Hermione. Like, I literally, in class, would correct people, always try to raise my hand and get the answer. You know, I, I am very much so like Hermione. However, not exactly the same. I think that she's a little bit more like know-it-all than even I was, which is, I mean, I was a know-it-all. Ask my family. Anyway. I love Hermione. I think that she gets mistyped quite often. I don't know, some people think she's an INTP and I'm like, did you even read or watch Harry Potter? Cause she is not, she's an ESTJ. We're not debating type. If you wanna debate type, go ahead and first watch this video that I linked up here, which is me talking about why we can't agree on MBTI types. And then come back and watch this video because I don't wanna have that conversation in this video. What I wanna do is just talk about these characters. So let's go ahead and rank. We have Hermione as I don't I don't think she's God tier but she's definitely amazing she's dynamic she goes through a lot of change as a character throughout the series and I absolutely love her she's amazing so she's going up there next we have Cersei Lannister oh Cersei you gotta be one of the most annoying characters in all of fiction like you're great you're amazing, you really are very good at what you do, but you piss me off so much. I really, really, just please stop. Please stop. That's why that category exists. That category exists for Cersei. Please, please stop. <laughs> Next, we have Theoden. Theoden is the King of Rohan in Lord of the Rings. He's an amazing character. Is he super dynamic or anything crazy? Does he really go through that much change? I don't know. It really depends on how you determine that. I think that he's a good character. I wouldn't say that I'm obsessed with him by any means, but I think he definitely deserves to be in dynamic. Then we have Abraham from The Walking Dead, who might just be one of my favorite characters from The Walking Dead. He doesn't show up until later on in the show. So if you haven't watched, you know, past like season four, you might not have ever actually seen this character. But oh my God, is this character phenomenal. He goes through a lot of change. He is very wonderful. One of my favorite characters in all of The Walking Dead. And absolutely, he has to be God tier. Yes, he does. Fight me. Then we have Leia. Leia was probably requested by like 20 different people. They were like, please mention Leia. If somebody hasn't said this yet, can we do Princess Leia? Please do Princess Leia. Okay, guys, I heard you. Let's do Princess Leia. She's meh. I mean, she's okay. She doesn't piss me off. She's not a cliche, but she's also not like amazing of a character. And don't even get me started started about the scene from The Last Jedi. She's out, she like literally gets sucked into the vacuum of space and then just like flicks her fingers and does a little force thing and then like, whoa, okay, she's safe. What? No, and if I spoil that for you, come on, get with the program. That movie came out like two years ago. That scene 
is enough to drive anyone insane. It just doesn't make sense. It shouldn't have happened. How did they think it was a good idea? I just don't know what people are thinking sometimes when they do things in these videos. I, I, I just can't. I just can't. Now we have Judge Judy. <laughs> All right, who did not watch Judge Judy when they were in high school or younger? I don't know, how old are you? When I was in high school, I watched Judge Judy. Even when I was in middle school, I watched Judge Judy. She was so fun to watch. I love Judge, Judge Mathis as well, but Judge Judy, she really sticks with you. You know, like she's got this personality that is just so in your face, cliche, ESTJ, and yet you still love her. You wanna watch her. And I know she's not a fictional character, but I mean, reality TV is basically fiction. She's a fantastic example of a cliche ESTJ. If you're like, what is a stereotype of ESTJ? Judge Judy. Judge Judy is the stereotype and she's amazing and I love her. Being a judge is a very good position for an ESTJ. Just by the way, I think that that would be a really good position to be in as an ESTJ. Then we have Lois from Malcolm in the Middle. Now, I had not seen Malcolm in the Middle for literally a decade and someone brought this up and I was like, oh my God, you are right. She is a total ESTJ. I love Malcolm in the Middle. I used to watch that all the time. I was like, I'm exactly like Malcolm in the Middle because I have my older brother and my older sister and my younger sister. We're this cute little family. Oh my God. And I'm so special and gifted. I really connected to Malcolm in the Middle. I love that show. And Lois, now she's kind of annoying, but I also love her. So we're going to put her, mm, we're going to put her in meh above Leia. Pfft, oh, of course, above Leia. I wouldn't say she's a cliche, but she is, she's great. She great. Then we have, okay, I probably should have waited for later, but the aforementioned The Politician, oh my God, that is such a good show about an ESTJ. Like if you wanna watch a show that is about how an ESTJ can develop and become a better person, Watch The Politician. Now talk about a show which encourages self-growth and development and also makes it really gritty and true to what it's actually like to develop yourself. He is this super ambitious ESTJ who wants to be president at all costs and everything just kind of happens wrong that could happen wrong and it is amazing. And anyway, he is absolutely the top of God tier. He is probably one of the best ESTJs I have ever seen in a fictional context. Now, he can be a little bit borderline cliche. However, it is the fact that he has to push himself to change himself and personally develop himself in order to accomplish his goals. This is prime character development. If you want a show with prime character development, this is the one. Now, is that for all characters? Absolutely not. Not all the characters get the special treatment that Peyton gets, but I digress. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. He's got tier, let's move on. We have Regina George. Regina George. If you grew up when I did, this movie came out right around, I don't know, it was right around when I went to high school, maybe a little bit before, maybe a little after, somewhere in that range, right around the time that I started high school. Talk about a perfect time for a movie about cliques when in my high school we really didn't have cliques. So it was great and totally relatable. And we totally had chicks like this. I just can't remember any of them because they weren't real. Anyway, Regina George is, please stop. Uh, Cersei is a better character, please stop. Just Regina George, please stop. Get your little burn book and go away, okay? Please stop. And then we have Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh my God, talk about an annoying character. She is the clichéest of cliche ESTJ. She drives me nuts as a character. I really actually don't like watching her. I don't think many people do, but you know what? The fan art, the fan art. Just check, just just Google Deviant Art Asuka Evangelion. You'll find some stuff. But as a character, uh, she's such a cliche. I just can't with her. Next, we have President Coin from Hunger Games. And she is a woman who need not an introduction, but if you need an introduction for her, because for whatever reason you don't know, she is a horrid character from Hunger Games. She uses the main character. She, the, her choice at the end, the, the end of the Mockingjay, the, please stop, please, please stop. She's above Regina George, but please stop. 
president coin. I'm done with you. Then we have Vegeta. Vegeta is from Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is good. I would say that he is not exactly a cliche. I'd say he's definitely in the meh category. I wouldn't call him like super dynamic or anything. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he's the top of meh. I don't think he's bad. I think he's a good character. I'm just not into super, I'm not super into Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is good, but it's definitely like a man show. You know, like if there were ever a show geared towards males, it's that one, like 100%, 100% geared towards males. Not saying that as a girl, you're not allowed to like it. As a girl, please enjoy it, like it. I just do not. Then we have Two-Face from Batman. I specifically chose the one from Batman and Robin because I really love, what's his name? He was in Volcano. He's a great actor and he did a great job as Two-Face. I also love especially like how cartoonish they made the left side of his face, like the purple face. I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with purple. So purple face is my choice. Now Harvey Dent plays him much better. Remember what I was saying about judge? Perhaps lawyer is also a good job for an ESTJ. Perhaps it is. District attorney? Seems like a good fit. Anyway, uh, when it comes to upholding the law, ESTJs are up there. So Two-Face is a great, a great version of an ESTJ. Uh, is he better than these other two? Absolutely not. But especially in The Dark Knight, you know, maybe the cartoons, he's a great character. Uh, I think this version, the one that I picked up the picture, is actually the worst portrayal of him. But I love, I love the campiness of those Batman movies so much. I just love the campiness. Leave me alone. Then we have Dwight Schrute, the man himself, probably the most popular ESTJ in fiction Ever. If you watch The Office, you love Dwight Schrute. You either love him or you love to hate him, but you have strong opinions about him because he's annoying and amazing and I love his character and he's always trying to be in control of everyone else, but he's so bad at it because he's so oblivious and he is an amazing character. Is he super dynamic? Eh. But I do love his character. I'm gonna put him above... I'm gonna put him above Two-Face for sure. He's good. He's real good. He's real good. Then we have Professor McGonagall. Now, many people wanted uh, Dolores Umbridge. She'd be in the Please Stop, but I didn't want to bring her into this. I wanted McGonagall. I already had another character from Harry Potter. I can't just have like 20,000 characters from Harry Potter. Dolores Umbridge is... no. Professor McGonagall, however, I love her character. I was always drawn to her when I read the books. I was like, this is a woman who cares about other people. This is a woman who you want to do well for. Like, you want to impress her. Like, she's not gonna tear you down, but she's definitely, you know, gonna say, hey, you need to get your act together. Like, when they're doing the transformations and, and Ron turns his, his rat into like a rat chalice, She's such a great lady. She didn't make him feel bad for it, but he definitely got it wrong and she let him know. And she is the top of meh. I wouldn't say she's super dynamic. I mean, she's older, right? She doesn't have that much time or room to grow. That's a bad thing to say. She's already developed into her character. If we got to see for some reason, like a book or movie all about McGonagall, sign me up, except that I can't read Rowling. So if you know of a fan fiction where they wrote about McGonagall's rise to power or rise to, you know, professorship, I'd be down. I like McGonagall a lot. And then there's Barbosa. <laughs> the rules are more like guidelines. Which is kind of a funny, ironic statement coming from an ESTJ. However, Barbosa's great. Uh, he's kind of a cliche, but I love him. I love Barbosa so much. He's got a deep-seated root in my heart. I love him. But he's not like, you know, super dynamic or well character developed. He's just there, you know. He's there. He's an ESTJ. He's there to give Jack a, a, a counter. And, you know, he serves his purpose and he does his purpose well, but is he like super amazing as a character? No, you know that. Then we have Jean Horseface from Attack on Titan. He, no. For 
First of all, you guys know that I'm obsessed with Attack on Titan. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. And Horseface here is one of the best characters. He grows on you. Like at first you don't really like him, kind of like how the main characters don't like him. But over time he really grows on you. And I really enjoy his character. He is forced to go through a lot of growth as a character. He is forced into growth. And that's one of the best things about Attack on Titan. Let me just throw that out there. Attack on Titan forces characters to develop themselves. It is one of the best shows for forcing as many characters as he possibly can to developing themselves. Jean is no exception. I love Jean and we're gonna put him on the top of dynamic. He is absolutely above Hermione but I wouldn't say that he is amazing like god tier but I do really really love his character. And then there's Thomas Durand from Hell on Wheels which by the way guys how did you not tell me to put the main character from Hell on Wheels on my ISTP ranking list. He is like a god tier ISTP and we missed him on the list. How did this happen? We're gonna have to do another ISTP ranking video after I finish all these. So keep that in mind. Hell on Wheels is an amazing show, fantastic show, a wonderful show. And this guy, although he is a cliche, he has to grow. He has to grow a lot as a character. Like he, doesn't get off easy and I really enjoy that like like the show really forces him into uncomfortable situations and he has to deal with it and his opinion towards the main character really goes through a roller coaster and I just think he's a really well done character there are moments when you're just like you are a piece of crap holy but then there's other moments when you're like man I really relate to you what the heck he is great and I want to put him there. Not God tier, not God tier, but good. And last, but most certainly not least, we have Red from Orange is the New Black. Now, if you've never seen Orange is the New Black, just think lesbian porn. Okay, it's not actually lesbian porn, but it might as well be, it's basically that. And Red is one of your few characters who is not into the lesbian porn she is just the mother figure but she's like the mean mother she's great and i love her character and i think that she is kind of a cliche kind of like thomas duran however she's forced to grow granted is she forced to grow as much as thomas duran and do i take her as seriously no but i think she'd definitely be there absolutely bar none this is my list what do you guys think? What do you guys think about my ranking? Would you change the order anywhere? Would you want to move someone up, move someone a little bit down? Would you add someone else to the please stop category? Cause like, please stop. I don't want Cersei. Cersei, stop. Coin, stop. Regina George, stop. That kind of crap is so toxic to the ESTJ personality. It puts a bad name for them. Just stop, stop, stop. I don't like it. Let's not make ESTJs like that. Let's stop. That's, we don't need those anymore. We're done with stereotyping ESTJs and being rude to them and, and giving them these horrid positions. We're done with that, okay? Let's have more ESTJs like the upper echelon, okay? Like Abraham, like Peyton, like Jean. Let's have more ESTJs like that. But with that, that is my ESTJ ranking list. What do you think about the order in which I have ranked them? Would you rank anyone higher? Would you rank anyone lower? Would you wanna add more people to this list? Do we need to do another one eventually? My next video is going to be ranking INTPs. The INTPs want that video, so we have to do that video. So if you can think of some INTPs you wanna see, go ahead and put it down below. And honestly, it's probably not best to put it there. It's probably best to follow me on Instagram or Twitter because that's where I'm gonna ask you guys what kind of characters you want to see so definitely if you want to be part of the next video you want to be part of who chooses who's in the video follow me on Instagram follow me on Twitter and let's make it happen if you like this video go ahead and like and subscribe because you're awesome and if you want to support me and what I do go ahead and check out my patreon and join the discord you should join the discord join the discord it's a lot of fun we need more ESTJ so if you're an ESTJ please I'm begging you, join the Discord, we want your energy. And with that, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a beautiful, amazing, fantastic day. Bye.